All right, on today's short, quick video, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean out some of these console buttons here uh, where pop has spilled and gotten nasty and uh, see if we can bring them back to life. So stay tuned. All right, so today's video is pretty simple. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, get these buttons unstuck. Uh, this whole console section on the Mercedes sits right behind the cup holders and uh, the cup holders obviously hold and pop and everything like that tend to spill back on these buttons so maybe you hit a bump and a can of pop will splash back on these buttons and this back button and this favorite button has got super sticky around the edge sometimes to the point where you can't even click it down it just feels like it's it's gooey underneath so what I'm gonna do is a attempt to try to dissolve some of the stuff underneath it. Um, most of the time, all the videos on the internet show people actually taking taking the console apart and uh, doing it that way. Uh, I'm gonna try with a, uh, a set of Q-tips. I got these little applicator pointed Q-tips. I'm going to take some, some of these Q-tips and some alcohol. Uh, I just uh, had 70% isopropyl uh, alcohol or as people call it a uh, IPA um, I had it sitting around so I'm going to use that and then I'm also going to try uh, my bright idea was use some floss as well so uh, I'm going to uh, dab a little bit of alcohol down in around the button and then I'm going to attempt to get some floss underneath there to kind of floss all that crap out of there um, and dip that down in the alcohol as well so we'll see how it goes just make a quick video on it and see if I can make this happen. So we'll take floss and go down in between it. Uh, let's go ahead and get it a little bit wet with the Q-tips. This bag open. I'll probably just do one Q-tip. I'm not going to overly saturate the buttons. Uh, some people will uh, have talked about spraying cleaners down down in it. And soaking the soaking the area around the buttons with cleaner and letting it get down in there. Um, I'm purely just trying to uh, get a little bit of alcohol in between these buttons and get down in there, work it down in there, and then we'll uh, we'll get after it with the floss here. So that is my that is my idea for the project. Uh, I'm not going. Uh, crazy with this with the alcohol just enough to get down in there um, I was worried about it maybe bleaching out some of the uh, clear uh, protective coating on the buttons I guess we'll jump that hurdle when it comes so I'm gonna do it about three times get a good amount of alcohol underneath the underneath the edge of the button and then we'll go through here and we'll see what the floss does. Um, it's the best idea I could come up with to get underneath the buttons without taking the console apart. So let's see what this does. Close my alcohol of course. And we'll take a piece of floss. We'll see if we can work it down underneath this button. So Might need a little Q-tip for a little paper clip or some kind of something to work it down around this corner. I know that once I get it underneath the corner, it will be uh, it will be easy going. But it's a matter of getting it down underneath there. So all right, let's see if I can. It's already it already seems to be a that alcohol seems to have break, broken down whatever goo was in there already. I'm getting a lot more pushability out of the buttons already. So that's exciting. So I'm hoping that getting this floss down around here will just uh, further help my cause. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Of course I didn't get the get the idea from anyone specific. So just kind of something I came up with. Let's see if we can get this down underneath the edge of the button and get it flossed out. 
Might not even be able to get it down in there. Might not even be able to get it down in there. Okay. Here we go. So just the pointed Q-tip got me uh, got me pretty close. Okay. So we're gonna try that again. Shove it down around there, around the corner. Once I get it in on one side, it'll be a piece of cake for the rest of the rest of the console because it'll already be underneath the plastic. So got that down in there pretty far. I'm gonna try to use a piece of this plastic here to get it the rest of the way. All right, there we go. Okay, so I got my floss down in around the button. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move this through here. All right. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of gunk because it's coming out on the floss. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try to put a little bit of alcohol on the floss. And we'll see how that goes. Alright. Let's go ahead and put that down in there. Plastic was a good idea. Alright, work it down in there. Now we have alcohol on the floss, and I'm just using it to pull around the edges of these buttons. That one's feeling great now. So I could tell from when I was pushing it that it was just up here at the very front of the button where most of the crap had gotten down in there. So that's where I was concentrating most of my energy, was with the floss around this, the front of that button. This one feels like it could use a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and get another Q-tip going here. So simple little, simple little uh, fix without taking the console apart. We'll see how it holds up after a couple days of, of drying out. Um, some of it might be the cleaner I used. Um, I was using um, Chemical Guys All Clean. And it's supposed to be diluted 20 to 1 um, for interior use. And I've uh, noticed that 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 cleaner, that all-purpose degreaser and cleaner is really, really sticky. So some of the problem might be me working some of that, that uh, cleaner down in there. So I work some more alcohol down in here around this button. Apparently when you hit the power button, it works. So just by doing a little bit of, of Q-tipping, I'd say we're pretty, pretty, pretty close to calling it good. It has completely freed up the button. So um, that was a real quick fix. Uh, I was, I was uh, anticipating the worst on it because I didn't want to have to take apart the console. Uh, not afraid to do it, but just a lot of time and effort just for a button that's a little sticky. So I just work that alcohol down in through there while it's still wet. That floss definitely helped that, that side of the button. It's a really tall button. The sides of it are really tall. Um, so it was, it was just getting down in between the plastic part and the actual button. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get some cleaner and I'm going to wipe, wipe it off and uh, call that project done. Took a little five minutes and got it cleaned up to the point where I'm happy with it. So quick little video, just something I was 
getting aggravated with while riding in the car. Um, just little stupid stuff. So hopefully tonight uh, I'm going to more than likely going to pull the Corvette out and I'm going to uh, get it shined up because it is warm enough outside right now that I can wash a car outside so it's kind of nice. Uh, probably pull the Corvette out, shine it up, um, and then maybe later I'll uh, I'll look at doing a shop tour. Something like that. So Coming up soon, we'll do a shop tour. I'll take you guys around the shop uh, and show you guys that. But thanks for watching. If uh, if you like my content, go ahead and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'd love to have you follow me in the journey. Um, I just launched my website blog. Um, I got a whole uh, going to be the the writing side of uh, what I'm doing. I don't know how. How often I'll update that or anything like that but we'll figure that out it's all down the road so thanks for watching we'll see you guys next video